Dave was kind of legendary in the office. It was, it was if we need, if if a project was really important, then Dave was the one that he went to. Now, of course, I'm sure that he didn't realise sitting in Scarborough that actually there was this sort of level of of respect, particularly since he never actually met any of us. Um, but but Dave was was very much the you know he was the most important person. If 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 we could get him, we 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 did. Now, I founded Revolution in 1990. And our second game was a game called Beneath the Steel Sky, which we wrote with a comic book artist called Dave Gibbons. And that was really trying to pull together the best of the best. And I went back and remembered that I'd worked with Dave and asked him to write the music for the intro. He did a great job. Dave Gibbons created a comic and Beneath the Steel Sky has really gone on to be quite a cult classic. I'd never actually met Charles in person although I've spoken to him on the phone loads. I really hope he likes the new version of Beneath the Seal Sky we've done. with Dave Gibbons and we'd written the middle and we were kind of working out what happened at the beginning at the end and I don't know how well you know the story but basically it turns out that at the end you encounter a man that's connected himself to the computer and they've basically corrupted each other but somebody said it's his dad oh my god it is it's his dad in that moment, it's his dad. Your brain goes back and you go, but if it's his dad, then his dad sent the helicopter, but he stopped the helicopter. And it's one of those incredibly serendipitous moments where everything falls into place. Based on that, Dave Gibbons went and drew the comic book, and that worked really well. 